rocking out with us. Um, it's been uh, it's been a good show, of course. It's live. Um, that, that, let me check again. It is. Why is this show on upcoming? You said it's live? Let me it's check live. again. It's live. All right, cool. That works. Okay. So this, I'm going to take the link. For the, can you get, put the link in the chat real quick for me? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Um, yeah, this is the part where we transition over to the DPS channel. We're going to redirect over there. If you haven't liked and, and sub to the channel, please do so. Uh, we really appreciate that. We want to kind of have the podcast all in one place in the future. Hopefully, by this summer, that would be the goal. So, as many people that get over there and join us over there, the better. And, um, I'm uh, in th this pot part of it, and it's going to redirect us directly there as soon as, uh, um, I know Forte is ready. It's in there. All right. Did you keep that back? All right, guys. Um, see you on the other side. On the other side. All right. Are we, are we live? We live. All right. Just let some people, uh, let everybody get brought over. I'm here. I'm here. We're right. here. That's not how you spell we're. <laughs> it sure isn't. He said I thought this was <laughs> he said I thought this was pre-recorded. It was pre-recorded. You didn't know that? All right. Uh, okay. Here we go. All right. So let's let's do this. Let's let's uh, discuss Hellblade Two. Um, Hellblade Two. And so, so it was funny because like last night I was I was wondering like when are they going to start talking about Hellblade Two? Because this comes out in like a month, and I hadn't heard or seen anything said from Xbox as far as marketing goes on what the game is going to be, and then. Lo and behold, you know, super early in the morning, I guess is it, it was like that because of different time zones or whatever. But, you know, the information um, that I think was provided to IGN, I, I believe, about this game um, came out. And <laughs> I could, visually looks amazing. Mm -hmm. looks an amazing game visually like like you know you look at the what they're doing with unreal engine 5 a lot of we, we we've seen other developers try to push all the features of unreal engine 5 and not do really a, a, a good enough job that makes you feel like it was justified and even attempting it you know like we we've seen other developers take games that are like clearly a Unreal Engine 4 game that just kind of, kind of transitioned into Unreal Engine 5, but it's like the game design is still a last-gen Unreal Engine 4 game. Um, this game clearly is, is doing... Like this is a game built from the ground up for Unreal Engine Five, you know, and it and, and it shows it shows visually for for what they're doing, and all that said, <laughs> all that said, this game is still only thirty frames per second. Now, now, thirty frames per second with dynamic resolution. So, if, if you don't understand what dynamic resolution is, that means in order to maintain the thirty frames per second. The game at certain points in time, as you're say walking through the uh, through Iceland, or you know, is I think it's Iceland. Um, as you're going around, as combat's happening, you're fighting enemies or you're doing puzzles or whatever. The resolution is is going up and down in order to make sure it maintains that thirty frames per second. Hmm. Now, <laughs> what, are you, what, are, what are your thoughts about about this? But, but, but first question, first question to you: Where are you playing Hellblade Two? PC. 
I'm 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 amazed and shocked. Why? Actually, I'm not. I'm not. Um, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Well, I told okay. you I'm not doing 30 frames per second no more. Right, right, right. If Xbox, um, this, this is how this is how I feel. If Xbox is if 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 the console that I literally spent five hundred dollars on can't do it, I'll play on the other piece, the other thing I bought that costs way more, and I can do it because there is a distinct. There is it's not filmic. Oh, all, none of that stuff apply. I don't want to play. Like I played this the thing. I played the original uh, Hellblade at 30 frames per second. I enjoyed it. It's not to say that it's not going to be great. It's probably not going to say it's probably going to still play amazing. That's that's definitely the thing. But if I have the ability, and this isn't because I want to go to a different platform, because I know some people say, oh, you know, I want to hear people talk. You know, like Rodham has just said, I don't want to hear PC people talking about how Xbox people eat their food. Listen, I'm an Xbox guy. I love my Xbox, but I'm not about to be a slave to my Xbox just to play it on there and I have the ability to play it better. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. But um, it still doesn't change my excitement. When I looked at that trailer slow-mo and I saw what I saw, I was like, oh boy, this is going to be something. But that 30 frames per second, no, nah, man, I... And this is why, you know, people like you and um, we were talking about on DPS a couple of weeks ago, not DPS, on, um, on you know, formerly known as Scumcast a couple of weeks ago, where we were talking about people not, re- what I kept saying, people don't really care about the performance and stuff like that, you know, because most people don't. But for, for the people that do care, this is the narrative that Xbox is putting out there around their console, and this is somewhat the narrative that it's going to persist after playstation comes out with their next gen not their next gen console but the refresh and redesign and re and and boost the power of their playstation 5 pro you know all the rumors and the specs of that are saying that shoot 30 frames per second might be it will still be a thing but it will be less mm-hmm. of a thing and um if xbox is consistently still releasing games like that on their own platform due to and i don't think it's due to the fact of the xbox series x itself i do feel like the way that they ign late not ign but the way that kotaku or not whoever whoever wrote the tire i didn't read see who wrote the article but whoever said it on the article talking about it was going to be stuck at 30 fps on the xbox series x they're basically just talking about it's really stuck on that only mostly due to the fact that they still have to code this thing and make it on an S. So it's kind of being hamstrung by that. So in, in part, it has to be that on the X two because it's just too big of a gap to do both. So I'll just play it on PC and um, enjoy it over there. And I will still, and I will still have the same experience that an Xbox person that will have that plays it on their Xbox. Cause guess what? I'll still get all those same achievements on my on, on, for the xbox playing it over there so that's what i'm going to do slow mo what about you well of course i'm playing this on on pc that's what like when i beat the the first game um i uh i beat it on pc it was probably one of the, the very the when i when i built my pc in 2019 it was probably one of the first games i, I beat on it um enjoyed the experience i I had my misgivings with uh, the shallowness of the combat um, and the infrequency of like the, it's it's just like, there wasn't like a consistent cadence of anything. Like in the beginning, first half of the game, you're very rarely fighting. And then the second half of the game is a ton of fighting. I would have preferred more of a balance. Um, And I didn't care. Um, um, I didn't really care for the puzzles. Mm Mm-hmm. I, I I'm hoping those things are addressed in this game. If they are, I'm gonna love it. I know I'm, I'm gonna ha- love it and have a good time with it. I actually kind of feel like when they did that dev direct back in January, mm-hmm. I really liked what they were talking about. Uh, I think it's David Garcia who was the audio director, uh, who does amazing work. Actually, I liked his work in, in Bleeding Edge as well. And in Garcia is, I believe, the one that was talking about how. Uh, the the sound design they did for the voices in Hellblade One 
well, in Hellblade 2, they're applying that in so many different ways to so, so many different aspects of the game. I fully expect this game to be nominated for, like, you know, in the, the VGAs and all the other award mm-hmm. shows for sound and sound design and stuff, because it, it just looks that, like, it looks like that's just definitely going to be the case. That said, um... <laughs> Go ahead and I has I had smoke for Aaron Greenberg, but I I gotta I gotta pull back on that because oh, Aaron yeah. at least Aaron there's a there's quotes going around about Aaron saying that you know sixty frames per second would be the standard, and and then I never saw his I guess his backpedal from from just four days later where he was like well. It's not a mandate. We're not mandating developers. Uh, you make their game sixty frames per second. Right. Now, although I feel that's somewhat about multi-platforms, but mm-hmm. it, it seems like I, it, it initially on the say, surface you would think it, that would be about multi-platforms. Say? But what did you just say? Say exactly what you. What did he say? He say exactly what he said again. That it's not a mandate. But but what was the original statement? The original statement was it, it's the standard. So remember what I don't give him a pass. You know why I don't give him a pass? Because remember what I said during Scumcast the other week, and I said when Xbox is talking to you about stuff that happens on their platform, they're predominantly talking about themselves because they don't hold because they can't speak to what other people bring to their system like right standards and performance is what other people will bring this is what they want people to bring but when they say 60 frames per second and and 4k and all this other stuff they're predominantly talking about what's happening with their platform with the games they're making so i don't give him a pass for that because it's your platform and you're saying 60 frames is the standard okay. since when okay, right. Since when does it, it, since when did a studio that's under you that not be the standard? Okay, now Aaron Greenberg does not. This is why I say my smoke isn't for isn't for Aaron Greenberg. Okay, I agree with you, but that's not Aaron's problem. Aaron is marketing. that's not Aaron's problem, right? Exactly. That's not Aaron's problem. You. That's not Aaron's this problem. This is a Matthew loose booty problem. Okay, that's his name <laughs> until 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 he he proves otherwise. He is Matthew. Loose, loose booty. booty. Oh my and god. And loose booty been out here. I am I have said this before, but I'm sick and tired oh of loose god. booty just letting these devs just do whatever. And you know, I bet you I bet you there are some developers at Sony that don't want to do a 60 FPS mode. But guess what PlayStation tell them to do? Shut up and make me a 60 FPS mode. I bet you there are developers at Nintendo that that work with Nintendo and they don't want to do it the way Nintendo wants to do it. But yet Nintendo will still tell them shut up and do it what do it how I tell you to do it. At some points you have to actually just you can't just let them do whatever they want whenever they want. That's and I, I bring it up all the time because I can't believe he admitted this. But Loose Booty at Gamescom two years ago said, you know, I wanted to show you guys Fable, but Playground said no. Now, how? how, how? You are their here? boss. <laughs> how can they tell you no? Oh, man. These are technic- they're your games that they're making for you. You're the boss. You run this. Yeah. And they got him now, since then, running two more publishers, essentially. This is a loose booty problem. And I am sick and tired of loose booty letting these guys just do whatever. Games take forever to come out. And then it, and then when they come out, look, look. I can't say what. Okay, I'm not gonna say this. this something, that, something I heard. I'm not gonna say. But I'm not. But I'm. They, they take forever to come out, and then when they come out, sometimes they're 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 still coming in hot, right? They 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 got they got some issues that still need to get get worked out. Look, if you take forever to make a game, but it's polished when they come out, I got no problems with you. Mm-hmm. It's polished. You that means you took the time to make sure it was ready. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Cause, cause it tells me that you could, you consider and, and how, how I feel as the gamer to make sure I'm not, my experience isn't being hampered. Right. What? I'm with that. This is when, when a developer makes a choice where they're not going to have a performance mode, that is a choice. And they made that choice early in development, mm-hmm. but that's a choice. They chose a choice. to, 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 lean more towards um features that would that would be more difficult to run with higher frame rates on the hardware and they knew that yeah they knew this game was built this is ninja theory's first game that's built completely from beginning to end with xbox with PlayStation, I'm sorry, I'm about to say play. sorry, Microsoft Gaming as the publisher. Mm-hmm. You're, and you're just, there's just no performance mode. Look, I, I can't understand this was like, say, like a Telltale game, because I saw some people saying, well, you know, it's got like a filmic vibe. You know, they got the bars and everything. It's filmic. You know, it's cinematic. <laughs> yeah, in cinematics, I'm fine with that. When I'm fighting enemies, I want higher frame rates. No, right. I say, I say, I like, I'm going to be dealing with this. I'm not going to be dealing with this, right? Um, because I'm going to be on PC. But <laughs> if 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 I if I was in a purely Xbox console gamer. Mm-hmm. Here, here's here's yet again and over the past year this is what we've seen Redfall released 30 frames per second it's not, that's not Loose Booty's fault he wasn't in charge of them at that time no. we, got, we got Starfield 30 frames per second although Redfall finally got 60 FPS mode as we predicted it showed up 6 months later and no one cared so you missed your moment sorry Starfield mm-hmm. 30 frames per second. And now Hellblade, 30 frames per second. What other Xbox first party game is going to be 30 frames per second on this console? I'm pretty sure someone asked Loose Booty that right now. He wouldn't have the answer, but he would know. I mean, I, he, he knows. I mean, like back when they did that Dev Direct last January, I bet they knew then it was going to be only 30 frames per second. But they didn't say it. Mm. Here we are, less. A, a month or less away from the launch of the game and now they're talking about it right now, i i think i i and, and to to get so case got a question in the chat he says but what do you say to the idea that 60 frames per second would mean you couldn't get the fidelity to see on screen show me 60 uh, 60 uh, frames per second ue5 game on console right now um well, well, partially, uh, Unreal Engine Five is an incomplete game engine, so right. there's that. Okay, there's there's plenty of developers that have been trying to put games out, and then and then we see every GD uh, game developer conference, Epic shows all this crazy stuff you can do with Unreal Engine Five, and you see no developers being able to do that. So it, there is a huge gap between what Epic can do with the game, which you know with Fortnite, yeah, sixty frames per second is it's the minimum. Uh, uh, the minimum frame rate on consoles for for Fortnite, which is Unreal Engine Five, is six frames per second. But now, Unreal Engine Five, Fortnite on Unreal Engine Five on is now running on five point four, mm-hmm. either five point three or five point four. They didn't fix the shader cast stutter issue on PC with Unreal Engine until five point five. So 5.0, 5.1, and 5.2 all had that issue. It gets fixed with 5.3. This game engine isn't where it, where they said it would be at this point. So it's it, it that's a lot of the problem with why Unreal Engine games are the way they are. Mm-hmm. Outside of people's developers' unfamiliarity with it, now everyone is a master at it, like Ninja Theory and the Coalition, right? But the, none of that really is important because to his question, uh, what, what if you couldn't get the same fidelity on screen at 60 frames per second? I guarantee you can't get the same fidelity on screen. 
But I think there are some gamers that would choose that over the higher fidelity at 30 frames per second. Mm. I think there are some, and it's, it's about the choice because mm. I just finished Final Fantasy VII Rebirth like a week or two ago. Compromise experience on the PlayStation 5, as we know. The, the quality mode, it was um, upscaled. I think I can't remember where the starting resolution was, but it was upscaled to 4K. Still, I mean, looked, looked all right, but it's 30 frames per second. And I had this like weird judder going on whenever I would pan the camera. When, when I tried it, I only played at 30 FPS for like five minutes. I couldn't do more longer than that. The performance mode, all the way up until I beat the game. <laughs> they finally dropped the patch to give a sharper version of the performance mode right as I'm re looking at the in-game uh, cutscene. So the entire game, I'm playing with blurry visuals supposedly upscaled to 1440p. I don't know where Square Enix started to upscale or at with whatever the starting resolution was. It, it was whatever this ups upscaler is, it sucks. Okay, it just sucks. And but it was pretty much a rock solid 60 frames per second, except when me, Yuffie and Cloud were really getting into like, you know, their attacks, then you would see that frame rate start to go down as things would get crazy, right? You can, there are things that you're doing in the world that will make it so that like, well, we don't need to have this. Like, for example, okay, Dragon's Dogma 2, they came out with a patch where they turned ray tracing off. Mm -hmm. They had ray tracing on by default in a game where the best resolution was Xbox Series X on consoles at 42 frames per second average. True. Why, why did you put rate, make ray tracing on? They took that off and then they put in like more, uh, like more traditional reflections and, and more traditional techniques and, and, and got some frames back that way. There are things that you can do to make sure that that works now oh i said i don't know exactly how ninja theory developed a game is this game more cpu heavy like a game like like dragon's dogma 2 but then it wouldn't be as exactly what dragon's dogma 2 did because dragon's dogma 2 had the reason why dragon's dogma 2 is like as it is is only in the cities when you're out in the open world it's GPU heavy, and therefore, if depending on your GPU, your performance is fine. But in the cities, they got all these a these scripts, all these these uh, um, um, instructions that the CPU goes through for all the AI that's in these cities. There's a ton of AI in the cities. It's not just the vendors. It's people walking around just doing whatever. And all of that is 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 so CPU heavy that CPU can't write enough instructions to the GPU for the GPU to do its job. You look at like, if you run a frame rate counter on PC and you can see it, both all the versions of the game are, are designed the same. So this is, this is happening on consoles too. You just can't see it. But if you run a frame rate, like a, a, a stats counter, like MSI Afterburner on Dragon's Dogma 2, you will see that your GPU is not being fully utilized. Your GPU is hanging around. Like sometimes I see mine like at like 50% utilization. Now my CPU isn't like utilization is like really high, but they are not, didn't fully optimize the right CPU cores to use so that like it's getting the best use out of my CPU as well. This, these, there's so much that comes into these, these things that you, we, we can't, until the game comes out, we won't really know what the potential bottleneck is. Right. But none of that matters because when you develop, the, when you started to make the game, you had choices and ideas that you wanted to implement in the game and you knew how those choices would, would hinder the experience. 
And when you decide to put those things in there, knowing what the repercussions were, were we can't do a performance well if we do this. Right. That's the choice you made. And I think that that does a disservice to your audience when you no longer give them a choice of how they want to play it. Maybe most of them want to play it with the higher fidelity. Maybe most of them want to play it with the frames and the performance. But when you make that choice for them, you take that away from them. And I understand it's consoles, and I understand it's as it is a it's a closed system in a much a much more there's not as much um, versatility that you could do like on PC. But at the very least, give the option for somebody to play it. Because if you don't care about none of the other stuff that they're doing, I just, I just want to play this at a smoother 60 frames for a second. Well, here, well, great. Here's that option. That's all I'm saying. But 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 as 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 K K's last point there in the chat, if you don't want the choice taken away, hashtag give the PC. And that has been my mantra on on Twitter all day long. To to you know pissing people off because like I, it's funny because like at the end of my my statement I said, and by the way, if you get a PC, go AMD. So that we can we, we can be rid of uh, Nvidia's tyranny. I was joking <laughs> for the most part, right? I think everybody really wants that to happen. Not apparently not. The Nvidia fanboys came after me. Um, mm. in addition to the console, the console fanboys who who were upset with me telling them to go get a PC if you want to make sure this never is an issue because that that that's a, essentially what the, the solution is. This isn't going to change. That question I had before, where I said what other Xbox first party games are going to be thirty frames per second? Yeah, it's going to be. This isn't this isn't the end of this. Don't be surprised if uh, State of the K three is it has the same thing. This is not the end of it on console in general, no matter what console you're on. Is that is that yo? It, well, I mean, PlayStation First Party has yet to deliver a game that doesn't have a 60, 60 uh, FPS performance mode. Oh, yeah, and until they do, that's true. That's true. Until that's true. they do, we can't say that that's going to be the case with them. But what I'm saying is that if you want to guarantee you never have to worry about this, feel the PC. Do do what what Forte's buddy did. Trade all your stuff in. Buy yourself a PC. Build one. I think building's fun. So build a PC. You'll learn something. Or you can buy it or you get or you can pick your parts and go on the website and they'll build it for you and send it to you. <laughs> but yeah. that's how you just have a have a weight that's off your you know what? I had never have to worry about that. Not only do I not have to worry about a dynamic resolution with this compromise 30 frames per second, that I can play this exactly how I like to play it. With exactly the fe features I find I'm, I find acceptable to turn on and off, or maybe just go ultra everything, max everything, and see how it runs. And I know at the very least, I'm getting 60 frames per second. It feels good. <laughs> it does feel good. It says, uh, Robin said, said, you said we were living in misery on console slow mo. Yes, I did, Erodimus. Yes, I said it. <laughs> did you you say were it living in misery. In misery? Yeah, yeah, I said it to him specifically well, listen, him because I, I know he's living in misery. Listen, the only people living in misery are the people. <laughs> listen, if you are okay, let, let, <laughs> all right, let, let's. I'm gonna give the actual point that DP like the DPS podcast is telling you. If you are a person that's complaining about frame rate on consoles and you're on Twitter saying all of this crazy stuff, don't even waste your breath. Just shut up. And go buy a PC. And that will take care of that whole scenario for you. If you are a person that does not care about all of the stuff that's being talked about, then there's no reason for you to even, even you know, be a part of the conversation because all you want to do is just play the game and enjoy it. And guess what? If that's you, I love it. Because all that matters yep. is if all that matters is if you want to play the game and you can play it. 
if you don't mind 30 frames per second, don't let me, slow mo, or anybody else try to convince you that you need to go out and buy something that's three or four times more expensive than the thing you oh, already oh, oh, oh. have to get. You I'm to not trying. I'm not trying to convince no, 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 anybody. I'm, I'm, listen, no, I mean, I'm not I, saying, I, I'm I am. I am messing with y'all. I am kind I, of uh, poking the bear a little bit, no, but not even the I'm bear just, because you, just, you guys, you guys are console players. So instead of yeah. a bear, you got a very blurry looking blob, hairy oh, thing. My that, God, that's not really like you don't have the full. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, what I'm saying is, like, my entire message was wasn't even to the people who are happy with 30 frames per second on Hellblade 2. Yeah, I was talking people, to the people who those were complaining. Are, those, are zealots. I, those people don't matter. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, look, look, there are people like, say, for Jack Move Johnny. Jack Move Johnny plays everything at 30 frames per second. He wants the better visual when he plays his games, even if it's an action adventure game, if it's, it's a platformer, if, if it's a and shoot. And I would have said the same exact shoot. thing to but, him and, and, he would have been one of these people that said something about Hellblade laughing at 30 frames per second. I'll be like, bro, you literally play Legos at 30 frames per second and have fun, so it doesn't matter. No, well, I, I bring him up and shout out to him. I bring it up yeah, because it's him. like there him. are people who legitimately don't have a problem with 30 FPS, and I'm not talking to those people. The people I am talking to are the people who are mad about it. Yeah. And I'm just like, after Riffle, after Starfield, you still are shocked that this if you if you listen, if you've listened to the show before, there multiple times me and Forte have said we think Hellblade 2 is gonna be 30 frames per second. And I don't want it to be, <laughs> but I said I think this is gonna be 30 frames per second. I knew it, and, and, and it's like, and, and, and it wasn't even, I, that's not even a, a, a great pat on the back, because it was pretty freaking obvious it was going to be 30 frames per second. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you really thought this was going to have a 60 FPS mode, after everything that we've seen, after, with, with loose booty out here, <laughs> running these studio. Booty. Loose booty. You know, you know, a, a very, a very, very wise man said said that. Uh, 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 and I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, but but he knows who he is. But, but he wait, said wait, wait, that you know. Go hold ahead. on, real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Because everyone talks about Matt Booty because they saw those those leaked emails and how he was all like, "Let's spin Sony spin out of this." To the ground. You know, you know, it was like you know, Matt Booty is a Chihuahua. That's what he is. <laughs> So, so, they, 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 hold on, think about a second. They, 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 think about this for a second. And, and and I know this for a fact because I because 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 one of the dogs I grew up with, um, we had in our household was a Chihuahua, and Chihuahuas do this. They are big and bold. They they bark. They act like they go. They I mean, they're mean. They'll bite you. But like they don't understand a lot of times their size, right? But then as soon as a bigger dog shows up. It's a wrap for all that, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, that's that's Swabble. Matt Booty. He he is a Chihuahua. Yeah, because yeah, all that talk in the emails, but when he gets to his studios, they just run right over him. Oh, hey, hey, you know we we would really like to have a performance mode. We ain't doing that around here. Okay, guys, whatever you want, sure. You know, hey, thank thanks for keeping me in the loop. We ain't gonna ever get anybody from Xbox on this podcast. <laughs> Never gonna happen. We ain't gonna, get, we ain't gonna even get people if they leave Xbox on this podcast. <laughs> they won't even be affiliated with Microsoft no more. They still won't come on this podcast. Oh my <laughs> God. Hey, this look. show on April 4th, 2024. This is the day that I have come to the conclusion that that will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I ain't talking about tell, that. Tell no me more. I'm wrong. If, if I'm if I'm wrong, you tell oh. me I'm wrong. Look, I I am. I, I have said it time and yeah, time again. I'm not if I if wrong. I'm wrong and I realize I'm wrong, I would admit I am wrong. I say that. But you I'm wrong, sorry, bro. man. I he, 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 wrong, he is bro. very 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 Taco Bell Chihuahua <laughs> behavior here. He walks around the bell on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> got me, got me here thinking about this man. That is so bold, bro. That's so I'm just, bold. I'm, My head I, hurt. I'm, 
look, yo, you he has got look, if you 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 need a you need and I'm not saying he's not a nice guy. He probably he's probably a really nice guy, right? But you oh, need you, you need a pit bull. Now, like you, no, no, no. I'm I'm just trying to give it f- further context. What they they need a pit bull that runs these studios. It's just like if you if you miss a deadline or if you miss a milestone in the development, all right. Yeah. I understand stuff happens. It happens again. I'm finding a new director. Like, like that, you need to, to have that kind of, uh, uh, relationship with these people where you say, I want to show your game. And there is no, well, we don't want to, you don't want to what? You don't want to have a job? Cause I said, I'm showing your game playground. Like, you, I know you're used to work to operating a certain way when you were a second party developer with us, but now you're first party and, mm-hmm. and I want to show your game now because I'm the one that is going to have, it's not just you on the line when your game comes out, I'm on the line too, you know? And so you need that kind of dude. Like I, and everyone brings this up when it comes to God of War 2018 and Sony Santa Monica that when Shuhei saw it, he was like, this is garbage. Do better. Yeah. And then they went back and did better and they got what they got was uh, the result of a game of the year. And I feel like I feel like Matt Booty would never say that to them. To do yeah. to and, and and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he is like, you know, like I think there was a statement from Daryl Gallagher last year. Daryl Gallagher was at this the Xbox showcase, or Lisa once spoke to him, and he said that uh, um, he said he he enjoyed it and it was great seeing his peers and him watching it as you know just a gamer kind of like in the audience watching the work of his peers. And then I think the interviewer asked them, "Can't wait to see what you're, you see you up there showing your game." And he said, yeah, you know, uh, I really hope so, because if, if if we don't get it done, I might really be, you know, sitting in the audience watching this thing. He, he made a joke out of it, right? Right. But I was like, ooh, I like that. Not that I want Daryl Gallagher to lose his job, but I like that. Like, I hope that's not just a joke. I hope that's like really like Matt Booty behind the scenes is like, if 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 we ain't ready to show perfect dark next year your office is going to have perfect dark okay because the lights ain't gonna be on because ain't nobody gonna be in it because you fired like i that's the kind of energy i want matt booty on okay. you know not none of this none of this chihuahua stuff none of the, the loud barking but you know you you can't you can't bust a grape right no i i i want and they need to be on top of these developers because that's i feel like that's the only way you're going to get the most quality out of the games. You're not going to have these situations where people are like, well, you know, is this other game even going to have a 60 FPS mode? I don't know. You know, like there's no, there's no standard <laughs> among the first party because it's just whatever. It's just whatever the developer feels like doing. I, after I've, I've tanked any chance of us getting interviews for it, anything, anything you want to add? You know, to this. Oh man, this show's over. <laughs> you think all our all our chances to get people up. No, but no, listen, listen. Uh, just and, and to be for real here. This what Slobo was saying, unfortunately, you you it's like it's the perception of what Xbox is right now. Like when it comes to like leadership, there's been so many mishaps over the course of the last generation, a lot of people just lost a lot of faith in it. You know, I, I, I truly know how, I don't know how hard it is to run a corporation or an entity as big as this, but I do know that there are checks and balances that happen at every level of leadership. And it just feels like, from a observer on the outside looking at the whole picture, there has just been a lot of 
a lot of things that have went either left unsaid or left undone. And it makes you, it comes off as a, it comes off as either you are not the right person for the job or you are the leader of the men and women that are underneath you to make sure that the job gets done in the manner time or um satisfactory quality that people want it to be done in so all of these things that people say about phil spencer matt booty uh even sarah bond um even saudi nadella when he comes out and says things all of these things are mostly just the overall thoughts of what gamers feel like they see when they look at the whole picture of what Xbox is. It's not an indictment against Xbox. It's not, it's not trying to throw shade or smoke. This is me coming a hundred percent to you. Just honest. I love the platform. I just don't like the direction that it's been going in. It's very disappointing to see all of these inroads, uh, all these roads come to where they are now. But I will also be the same person that will tell you that I don't blame Xbox for this mostly. I still blame Microsoft as a whole for this whole mostly due to the fact that they let Xbox flounder for so long without the support that it deserved to have until 20 fit to basically until 2017 2018 when they decided to make you know financial investments inside of the, the xbox portfolio when phil's i always come back when phil spencer said we want to treat our gamers like first class citizens i truly believe he meant that but no, i don't think this, so no no i no, i do truly believe he meant that but when words I look, are wind what, 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 what is that is that from game of thrones words of wind yes yeah it is. yeah yes. words of wind no it, it's what but, it, it, it's actions ahead. that count and and no, the actions, actions show no 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 when 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 matt loose booty allows sea of thieves oh, man. To, to to run better on the playstation 5 oh, than the, your actual xbox when you when when you got Josh Sawyer out here, I probably I'm about to get blocked by Josh Sawyer. It's okay. Josh Sawyer out here releasing Pentiment with 120 frames per second mode and, and, and claiming it's a bug that that it wasn't available on Xbox. A bug for a full year, bro. Uh huh. That you didn't fix in, until after you released the game on PlayStation. Why are your first party games running better on your competition's hardware than your own freaking hardware? What are we doing here? I mean, seriously, this this is anybody could know that's a bad idea. I'm sorry. You better like it should be a bullet point, like one of the first bullet points in bold italics and underlined in the presentation and the PowerPoint when y'all doing y'all meetings. This needs to run better on Xbox or on par on Xbox than it does on PlayStation. You not even getting parity at launch with these games are launching on PlayStation. How? Do you allow that to happen? Only a loose booty can allow that to happen. I mean, come on, bruh. Where did you come up with this whole loose booty thing? Because <laughs> you, 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 you definitely, definitely running with it. <laughs> Today. You definitely running with it. Look, it, it, Clint says, "How far rush better shadows bug? How, how, like, how, how is it that your own first party? Okay, let's let's say let's say that's true. Let's say all this is bugs. All these are bugs on your hardware that is making your hardware not run your games as good as they do on your competition's hardware. First of all, you should have never put the games over there in the first place." That's one. You wouldn't even have the situation if you never you were putting your games on, acting like a loser, putting your games on other people's hardware. That's the first thing, right? Two, you have bugs. So, 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 what's the issue? Is is it your developer's familiarity with the hardware? Is it the tools? So, why why is it that these bugs aren't occurring 
when they're using Vulcan to <laughs> as the as the the game development kit to develop these games on PS5. But under DirectX 12 with your own tools that you develop for your own developers, they have these all these bugs that they can't have have parity at launch with your own games. Come on. This, mm. the, the, these, these are layups. These, are, these, these aren't hitting a three-point shot with a hand in your face. These are layups, bruh. The game should at least on your hardware, especially when you, especially when your 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 Xbox Series X is more powerful than the PS5. You should not be having these kind of issues. True. Yeah. You should not be uh, giving Digital Foundry the opportunity to say that your first party game ran better on a PlayStation 5. <sighs> that I is, just, I, I will say that that is kind of crazy. The fact that your first party game definitely runs better on another platform. That's. Especially when your first party game has been out since 2018. It ain't like you ain't had a lot of time to optimize. <laughs> That's crazy. But. And, uh, go ahead. <laughs> no, because. Uh, because like, like, no. Shout out to Kay, you know, of, of Game and Circle Podcast. That's the homie. He says the shout shadows to, yeah. is due to how the uh, abraction layer works with Sony's Vulcan backend versus DirectX's implementation and how it works with UE. You know, like that's the technical reason for it. The technical reason doesn't matter because the customer, the, the, the overall gaming community, the people who pay attention to this stuff, they're not going to ever hear that explanation. They don't care, really. Like and then here's the flip side of it, Ghostwire Tokyo because Clint just brought Ghostwire Tokyo. Ghostwire Tokyo came out on PlayStation Five first, and when it showed up on Xbox, it showed up with all the bugs and issues that initially launched on the PlayStation Five, and it still ran better on the PlayStation Five. Yep, I remember that. Just layups. These are layups. It should be the easy stuff. Well, guess what, slow mo. Wait till what? wait till January to the uh, to June. I, I'm, I'm gonna check my, check my Twitter to see if I've been blocked by a couple of people, <laughs> oh, <laughs> or at least unfollowed. But I mean, maybe I have. Oh, ho- ho- hopefully, not. hopefully not. You know, I I, I don't I, I don't mean to offend. Well, maybe if you feel like you've been called a chihuahua and lose. Okay, maybe that is somewhat offensive. It is what it is. But. Man, and and Arana is working really hard to try to get people on our show for Xbox. (laughs) You're making his job a lot harder. Oh, man. Well. You're making it hard, bro. We can't even get Major Nelson, and he he probably got a problem with Xbox. Hey, look, look, let me. As much as I appreciate Arana and Mrs. Efforts, I. I love around. I'm, I'm not going to change. I, I am who I am, right? So like, it's like I, <laughs> I, 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 I can't, I, I can't change who I am. And and, and uh, do y'all really want me to to be the? You know, hey y'all. Uh, appreciate you coming through, Mister Mister Xbox Executive. Thank you. Hey, so tell me about what the amazing things you guys are doing. Yeah. So t- no, tell me why about. Why are you sounding like freaking uh, King Thrash right now? I don't think that. That's not that Thrash. Is, that is Thrash. No, it's not. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. See, you just no, 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 see, like see, 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 a, see, a Thrash voice is far more aggressive than that. See, I, I was sounding very, like, very, like, trying to be low key host guy. Yeah, hi. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, that kind of talk. The Thrash is like, yeah, in N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. What would y'all do? Oh, yeah. Phil Spencer. Yeah, yeah. N word, N word. Yeah, yeah. That's that's Thrash. You just, Shout out to Thrash. You, you literally just did <laughs> Thrash. If Thrash was Thrash, if you hear this, bro, make sure you DM and let them know how he just, how he just literally disrespected you in the way that I you did talk. not. That's how he talked. He and said, I, I don't have a problem bro, with it. Thrash, thrash, thrash. That's exactly. That's exactly how he talked. Yeah. He goes, like, he been, don't like we have no subscribe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have known Thrash for years. He has oh not changed God. in how he talked. Both of us could do a, a Thrash impression. It's not, but what I was doing before, the, trying to appease the, uh, 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 I, 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 I don't do that. You know, look. I, I'm with you, bro. I'm just messing around. And, 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 if, and, if, and if, if we got someone in, look, I mean, I can be respectful, but I'm going to ask you hard questions. You know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 I'm gonna ask you questions that I want to know, you know, and, and if I can't answer those questions, I, I don't really want want you on. And I want to do a fluff. Hey, it's like it's like it's like, I there are, I, I I've thrown so much slander now. I don't even know if I want to say this. There are influencers out here, right? Go ahead. That will say whatever the platform, publisher, developer, whatever wants them to say. That's Their true. personal opinions, you don't know what they really feel about anything ever because they flip flop back and forth on everything. And I just like, I don't like that. Like I like I'm I'm not knocking their hustle, but if I I, I don't like if I follow you enough that I think I should know how you how you roll with things, but instead I just know that whatever the platform says, you're just gonna back them up even though that might contradict what you said a week ago, like I don't like stuff like that. And I don't like, like, and I, and, and I don't like when people get people on and they just like, you know, they don't ask them any difficult questions and they don't, they don't, and they, and they don't ask what the actual people want to hear, like mm -hmm. questions that people have, like, I don't want to do it if you don't want to you know be at have a real open dialogue and i'm not saying i'm not going to ask you like you know about your personal life but when it comes to the to the business the work that you do that's real like in other industries it's so weird in the gaming community in other industries if someone got like an apple employee on and people didn't like something that happened with an iphone they would 1000 percent ask them a question about that that's true. They would. When and when if 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 freaking freaking Ford had a a massive failure of like airbags in all of their cars for 2024, and they did an interview, the interviewer 1,000 percent is going to ask them about this massive recall for all their vehicles because of the airbags. Like that's a guarantee. Freaking T. Mm -hmm. So it's just I don't understand how people can just be like. Like when it comes to this stuff, they just they don't want to do those things. It's just weird to me. So hmm. interesting. I'm with you though. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> I just I'm just bracing myself <laughs> for the fact that we ain't gonna use man. David Jaffe still got friends at PlayStation. If, if we ever want, we, we might we got a better chance of getting the PlayStation person on than the Xbox person now. They'll be like, you, we ain't going on that shit. And they listen <laughs> to these podcasts too. Yeah, they do. They do. I know they I, I, you, you, you can tell they listen because you see them repeat some of the things that are said, you know, and, and I, I've seen other podcasts say things and I've seen almost those things, same things repeated That's word true. for word. I, 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 yeah, I, um, have too. I heard that too. And I've, I've seen things that we said repeated by executives word for word not saying they absolutely are watching us but like maybe someone else repeated what we said and then i don't know i don't know who's watching this right but like i don't care also but just yeah i know they watch these things and mm -hmm. and, and they even admit it so they watch these things and i'm glad they do because hopefully like some some of the i know we don't have all the data and we don't have all the information that they have but at the same time we are the the, the community we're the customers and so how their decisions play out, mm -hmm. how they affect us, that's important. 
Because mm-hmm. although we aren't, the hardcore audience isn't the full like audience, but casual gamers get a lot of their information from hardcore gamers. It's not just sure. the marketing of what they see. And especially considering how Xbox has been very inconsistent with marketing, a lot of the narratives that are driven are being driven by games media and what the hardcore audience says to the casual gamer. So you should probably pay attention to that stuff. Anywho, um, let's, get, <laughs> <laughs> let's get up out of here. <laughs> Anywho, oh, as I man. drop this, as I drop this Hiroshima, this bomb on on this on this plateau. Hey, hey, let's not let's not call it. Oh, it's very Hiroshima. As I, mm, yeah, as I as I, as I let people know how I really feel. <sighs> no, wrong taste of words. But no, this is a great show, Salomo. Awesome um, conversation back and forth. Um, appreciate the. 35 people that are here. I think we hit like 40 something on the uh on the main. So appreciate awesome. all you guys. You guys are awesome. K Asante, uh, I'm still waiting for that invite, you know, to to one of the greatest podcasts ever created. And when I do come on, make sure that um make sure that your co-host wears his uh his Sonic hat, you know, the one with the ears and stuff on it. Cause um that's the only way I'm coming on there. He has to wear that hat. But uh, <laughs> with that being said, oh, shout out to Gaming Addict. I talked to Attic earlier today. You know, uh, shout out to so one, shout out to one of the Iron Lords, one of the best content creators out here that doesn't get enough love and support. Uh, hey, and, that's another, can, and that's another thing. Can you, Go ahead. Hey, hold on. Can you make Attic and K Asante mods? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not oh, in the the account. To you're not under the it. account. Yeah, I can do. It. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, shout out to Attic. How's it going, bro? Um and Gregor. Gregor's like, oh, I was want the mod too. Like everybody yeah. coming through, not like you, you ain't talking about us. <laughs> you ain't talking about us. No, well, um you guys are all awesome. We appreciate it. So let's, Slowmo, let's, tell let's, her, let's, I was gonna say, tell everybody what you got going on on your channel, where they can find you and everything, Mr. Slowmo Backslap. Uh, um, before I do that, I will I'll do I will do the channel members real quick just okay. to get that get that out the way, and then I will get into what I'm working on. So, shout out to K Asante, Legendary Yobi, Neil S, Stardust Acero, Texas, your boy Roy, Corey Hale, Donnell Brown, J387, Enrique Hargishani, Trevor Birdsong, aka Ramon Terrell, Homie One Kenobi, Game Forte, that guy Smitty. And I uh, appreciate you guys for being channel members. I, I, you guys are awesome, as you already know. And um, on my channel, I'm going to be, I'm working on a, uh, a first ascendant video, kind of going over some of the information that the uh, developer Nexon did a Q and A about in regards to changes they've made to the game since the last uh, crossplay open beta. I'm also working on a couple of other videos as well as some content I'll be uploading on the DPS channel. So look out for that um, because that's that's coming real soon. And yeah, uh, Forte, what you got, man? What what are you up to? Uh, Actually, get back to playing real games. Take a... um, Get back to (laughs) playing... Pokemon's a real game, but... No, it's not. You were right. It's a real game. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. (laughs) <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, man. That's crazy. But uh, get back to playing uh, some other games. Um, get back to playing Final Fantasy. Um, getting ready. Oh, getting ready to jump back into some more Battlefield. Um, uh, outside of that, man, just try to get caught back up on some stuff. Because sometimes you just got to take a break from some of the crazy stuff that's going on. I definitely want to get back into some content creation. It just really comes down to like what I want to make, and because some of this stuff everybody talks about and. It's like, even though I do understand the whole point that everybody wants to hear your voice because you have a unique voice to everybody else and they want to hear what you have to say. It's just hard to like kind of talk about the same thing that everybody else is talking about. So that's kind of where I am with that. But we're we're definitely going to get back into the grind of making videos and stuff. So really appreciate everybody that stuck through uh, this entire time while we do it. And for my channel, which is right here i would like to thank 
the homie Brat, Face Radio Arcade Podcast, Texas, Corey Hill, your boy Roy, Dotto Brown, uh, Remote Rail, Hargy Chidi, Slobo Backslap, DJ Oris, and that guy, Smitty. You guys are awesome. You always give us all the support that we be wanting, and um, we truly appreciate that. Did you did you mod them, Forte? I'm, mod, I'm modding them now. You know, it's just right click. Yeah, but on their on their. I wasn't. Just, I, wasn't you know, I wasn't logged in. My, I wasn't logged in either. I thought I was. Oh I was my. under me. Lord, but then I realized man. I was logged in because how am I doing a stream? Exactly. That's what. <laughs> I was like Lord, looking see, at the. I, I, I just. The I don't know how. Thing. I don't know I, how. How we do, yeah. how I, I get by. I just don't. You know, by the way, real quick before we leave, I just want to say this uh, as far as kind of not hey, really Asante, gaming, but say like. something in chat so I can make sure that you're modded because you should be now. You could just take one of his, his other messages that are like right there and do no, it. No, I already um, did it. I just want to make sure that it went. Okay. It did. And, 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 make, yeah, and add it too. Uh, real quick, um, watch right. Three Body Problem on Netflix. It's so good. It is Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. Um, watch that and also watch Solo Leveling. It's an anime. Now it's a it's it's a how do they say it? it's a manga? Like it's it's like Korean manga. manga. Korean manga. Ma- manga. Yeah. Yeah. Manga, yeah. Um, but it's been adapted Google into an anime. She sees you. I, I, you know, she is right. Solo loving, solo, solo leveling is so good. I, I binge watched the whole first season, and I was just like, "Yo, I'm hype. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a read it now because I heard like it's even better to read it. It's more information. It's, 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 it's probably further along than what the anime is, and so uh, those are awesome. Three body problem. Probably go episode like four right now, but. I like that uh, characters can just get killed like that. A love show is where they like you don't get attached to somebody, um, and and I, it, it just so many twists and turns is going places that I didn't think they were going to go. And I watch so much stuff that for me, I already like a lot of what the writers are doing. I see it w- way ahead of time, and I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, here 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 it comes, kind of thing. And this this one, I'm not. It's doing more than that, and I like that. So yeah, I am uh, hyped Perfect. for that. Watch that three body problem. Trust me, it's awesome. So yeah, you ready? You ready to, to end this, man? I'm ready, bro. Go get something to eat because I came straight home from work and didn't eat. So. Oh, yeah, definitely do that, man. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. We see you guys next week. Play your games. Have a good one. Enjoy the games you're playing. Peace. Was not ending? No, it's it. It doesn't want us to leave you guys. We're here with you forever. Have a good night, guys. All right, it did.